Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can tell your parents to go to hell, move out, live in the gutter, and then eventually die of mutated gonorrhea. It's real lives. More mutated gonorrhea, dammit. In real lives, you play whatever the hell the game wants you to play because it randomizes everything about you and puts you into a simulative experience from birth until death of a person in the world. If you want, you can stay in school, work hard, and become a millionaire. We're not doing that. I want to see how screwed up this game is. I want to pick all the worst options and see what happens. And from what I understand, there's some pretty screwed up options you can pick. The game is very realistic. So your parents could end up dying in a plane crash. You could end up getting cancer. You could get shot. You could become addicted to drugs and alcohol. Or yes, you could probably die from mutated gonorrhea. Congratulations, I'm a girl now. My name is Kendall Wells from the Czech Republic. Your entire family is also randomized and you're given a random amount of success to start with. And apparently I don't have the freaking internet. I don't know how I'm gonna survive without this. I don't have a car either. I've said this before, but even if people don't have a computer or don't have a radio or a telephone, every goddamn person has a cell phone. I can't wait to become a crime lord and get stabbed to death by the age of eight. You can already see that our socioeconomic status is low, so my parents won't really mind if I become a mob boss. My father is a police officer and he's 29 years old. He's got no health problems and he makes income. My mother is a farmer and apparently she has depression and obsessive compulsive disorder. Great. No job, it says. Just you wait. Kendall will either be running this place or dying. <laughs> I like this. You are single. Yeah, I hope so. Warning, you cannot take up a job or start a business before age 11. Wow, age 11, huh? <laughs> what businesses can you start at age 11? Oh yeah, I forgot. Toy review channels on YouTube. You were born today a girl in the Czech Republic. What do you feel about this? Uh, Satan walks among us. <laughs> Saved a life summary. <laughs> it's there. Life event at age one. Depression continues to trouble your mother Fiona from last year. Great, I'm glad things are going so well at home already. I haven't even done anything yet. Obsessive compulsive disorder continues to trouble your mother from last year. I was going to move out of the house just to like do the most ridiculous stuff I could as early in life as possible, but apparently this isn't a bad option. Life event at age one. The Dominican Republic has become a transshipment point for Colombian drugs destined to Europe as well as the United States and Canada. This game's not pulling any punches. Your father, Joshua, has not done well enough on tests to qualify for vocational school. Great, even my dad's a screw up. Your mother, Fiona, has lost her job as a farmer. Don't worry, parents. Once I reach age 11, I'm gonna turn this thing around. We're gonna be Colombian drug lords. Life event at age two, you come down with a case of food poisoning. Never mind, I'm probably gonna die before I can even get a job. Your mother, Fiona, has found a new job as a primary teacher's aide. Enjoy your obsessive compulsive teacher, kids. Oh, my sister began school, something I probably will never do. I like how the older I get, the like the lower my happiness goes. I'm like the most unhappy person. You have begun school this year. Can I immediately drop out? You can quit school. I don't know if it's free or what, mom. If it costs money, I'm saving you guys money. Do you really want to quit school? Absolutely. You dropped from school at the age of six. Life event at age six, you have begun school. Also, life event at age six, you've dropped school. Oh, and my dad got into vocational school finally. You are now eligible to take up a job at age seven. Get a job. What am I allowed to do? All jobs for what? Oh my God. Jobs for which I qualify. Beggar. <laughs> Hell yes, I'm gonna be a beggar. That's the step. That's the first step to ruling the underworld. Work overtime, yes. Begging is hard hours, okay? The beggar is one who practices imploring others to grant a favor, often the gift of money, with little to no expectation of reciprocation. It can also work overtime. <laughs> I'm really curious if like, this, this ask for a raise will ever light up. Your father Joshua has graduated from vocational school. Good, he's going to school so I don't have to. Oh, hell yes. He became a farmer and now we have access to television and radios. You have found a new job as a beggar and have begun earning 893 pesos or $19. The beginning of Florida Girls. If I can move to Florida in this game, I'm going to do it. Choose one leisure activity. Where's crime? I guess begging is basically socializing. Your mother has come down with hookworm. Well, sh Your father, Joshua, just lost his job as a farmer. Wow. Life is, uh, really kicking my family in the balls. We now don't have access to anything. Your mother also lost her job as a primary teacher's aide. 
Oh, shit. Hookworm continues to trouble your mother from last year. Yeah, you know what else troubles my mother? Failing at everything she does. Great, my dad sells used goods now. He's basically a pawn guy. Your mother found a new job as a nursery school aide, giving all the kids hookworm. My happiness is literally zero. It doesn't even have a number anymore. Your growth is being stunted due to inadequate protein. I'm literally not gonna make it out of childhood. Would you accept the gift of a cat from your sister? Where the hell did she get this cat from? Wait, is the cat alive or not? Y yes. Please select a name for your cat. What are these names? Gorgeous? Ziona? I want to name my cat Jody Foster. Can I, can I put my own name in? Damn it, I have to pick one of these. Whatever, my cat's name is Gorgeous. You lost your job as a beggar. How the hell can I lose my job as a beggar? There's no one to fire me. What do you feel about this? How? Your mother Fiona has found a new job as a traditional medicine practitioner. Where is she getting all these jobs from? Malnutrition has changed your resistance attributes. Great. Your cat Gorgeous is sick. Please consult the veterinary doctor. Everyone in my life is sick. I'm sick. I've got to take things into my own hands. We're getting a new goddamn job. What do I qualify for now? Oh, I can be a thief. All these other jobs pay more money, but I don't care. If I can start my life of crime at 11, we're doing it. Yes, we'll work overtime. I need my protein. Your cat Gorgeous is recovered now. This is like the one good thing that's happened in my life. You are sufficiently grown up to move out of your parents' house. I am at 11? Hell yes, move out. Do you really want to move out? Yep, at 11 years old, we moved out successfully. Do you want to change country? Yep, we're going to Florida. United States, baby. Oh God, select a city and they're not in alphabetical order. Miami, that's what I'm talking about. You do not have enough money available to legally enter the United States. Do you want to attempt to enter illegally? Yes. You left your family home. You've been caught trying to enter the United States illegally and have been deported back to the Czech Republic. God damn it. You seem to be in need of public assistance to provide adequate food and housing. Will you apply? Hell no. I'm gonna do this myself. Your cat Gorgeous is sick. Please consult the veterinary doctor. My cat probably eats better than I do. You've come down with whipworm. Well, maybe I should have stayed home. You've come down with roundworm. Wow, I'm not applying for public assistance. Go to hell. Some of your friends smoke cigarettes. It seems to be common in your peer group. Will you join them? I already have like eight different types of worms. I don't see what this could, you know what? Maybe this will fix things. You took up smoking at 13. Your cat gorgeous is sick. This cat is the most sickly cat in the entire universe. My cat just needs to die already. You are now old enough to have a romantic relationship. Okay. You've met a new boy named Harry Williamson. <laughs> sure. He doesn't feel the same way, god damn it! All right, how about Camden Manning? He doesn't feel the same way. All right, how about Luca Monroe? He doesn't feel the same way. <laughs> Maybe Lucas Taylor? Nope. Okay, how about Lucas Holman? Negative. I can't get a boyfriend to save my life! To be fair, I guess I'm a malnourished, growth-stunted, smoking 13-year-old homeless thief girl with round worms and hook worms. All right, you know what? I need no man, screw this. I've got my cat gorgeous, it's all I need. Oh, hey, my whipworm's gone. Hey, my roundworm's gone. Great, I have to freaking cycle through all the relationships about all the boys who want nothing to do with me. Your cat gorgeous died due to sickness. Wow, now I, I feel really bad about saying that I hope it died. There's no boys that want me, but there is one thing that wants me. Whipworm, it's back, baby. You've met a boy named Raylan Vincent whom you are attracted to. Is he just gonna say no? Hey, your lover Raylan feels the same way. My parents must feel so bad because like, I'm this horrible, diseased, malnourished, thief, beggar screw up. And my sister is already graduating from secondary school. My God, my sister already has a teaching job. Oh, never mind. She just lost her job. A tropical cyclone just hit my area. Your expenses are more than your income. Please select any of the following to overcome this situation. What new job can I have? Sex worker? Really? Not until you're 18, young lady. Raylan Vincent has broken up with you, son of a bitch. You can invest money? Sure, invest it in high risk stock. Would you like to donate blood? Do I get paid for it? How frequently would you like to donate every year? You can have my, as much as my diseased blood as you want. 
You have an opportunity to make a huge profit at what is described as low risk. The nature of the deal is somewhat cloudy, but you have been assured by a friend that it is a good opportunity. Will you risk 4,000 pesos? Absolutely. You've lost the entire investment, son of a bitch. All right, we're 19 years old. You know what that means. What happens if I ask for a raise as a sex worker? Your request has been refused. My endurance is 3%. I must really suck at this. Once again, your expenses are more than your income. Uh, take a loan from a friend. I'll pay you back, I swear. Would you like to risk five pesos to win five million pesos in the lottery? Of course. Would you like to register for organ donation? Yeah. Yeah, donate it all, all of it. You can have all the stuff that I still have after a lifetime of meeting people in back alleys. Would you like to purchase a pet? Yes, I want a cat. I'm still really sad about losing Gorgeous. I can't call this one Gorgeous too. Bear the cat. Sure. You didn't win the lottery. Of course not. Your cat bear got stolen. God damn it! I'm supposed to be the thief. How could I let this happen? All right, I've got a new partner now. It's Ab Abdullah Bradley. Try for child. You're pregnant. Wow, that happened really easily. Some of your friends use illicit drugs and would like you to take part. Will you join them? I said I was always going to choose the worst option, so sure. Remember, kids, please don't use illegal drugs and smoke if you're pregnant. Unless you're playing real lives, then do whatever the hell you want. You become addicted to illicit drugs. Well, congratulations. You have a new baby boy. That was quick. Your lover has been drafted into the military. Great. Now I'm a single mother. Can I find someone else? Hold on. End romance. All right. We got a new, we got a new boyfriend now. Try for child. You're pregnant. People are encouraging you to give up smoking. Absolutely not. Your lover Spencer has proposed marriage. No. Congratulations. You have another baby boy. God damn it, I've got gonorrhea. <laughs> On a side note, my two children are okay. Spencer just got drafted into the military. That's two for two. <laughs> That's all right. We know how to fix this. And romance. Draven, cool. Try for child. You're pregnant. You came down with hookworm. Just add it to the list. Your son has low birth weight caused by gonorrhea. Damn it. You're a parent. You don't have time to undertake any leisure activities. I know. Your lover Draven has been drafted into the military. Are you serious? <laughs> and romance. Your parents do not approve of Messiah Carr. Will you insist on seeing Messiah Carr? I haven't lived with my parents since I was 11. Your parents say they will kick you out if you continue to see him. I don't live with them. You're pregnant. Your parents have backed down. That's what I thought. Bitch. You have died at age 25 from complications of malnutrition. <laughs> At the end of your life, you were using temporary shelter. At the time of your birth, you were having minimal food for survival. While you had food just for survival at the time of your death, you were not able to go to school. You moved out of your parents' house at the age 11. During your professional life, you took up jobs as a handicraft, a beggar, a thief, and a sex worker. You were addicted to smoking, drugs, and you didn't take up drinking only because it didn't give me the opportunity. What do you think or feel about this? My only regret is I wasn't able to get to Florida. Well, the death rate where I'm from is much lower than the United States. So I figured I would go ahead and up that. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Real Lives, where we had basically the worst life you can have. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy and much love.